back with another video more Murray. Ah, I just got tongue tied. <laughs> uh, finally, we get to see a pick of Mr. Tim Carpenter, ex husband, I believe. Here we are looking at a picture day after the missing Moore Murray and there they are at the store. Mr. Carpenter is here, which I think he kind of looks a bit like Tommy Chong. <laughs> oh man. We have the eldest, I guess, sister here, Catherine. Is that her name? Kathleen Murray. And yes, I'm trying to still figure out what kind of pickup is here. As you can see, he does have a red pickup truck. But why? And they took a picture of this goddamn. I wish the person who took this photo could have got a picture of the full truck. Sucks. I hate when this happens. So I've been trying to find pics. This came up. Trying to find pics of the red truck. This comes up. And this is the only thing that comes up. Again, this is... Uh, exit full screen. Someone's phone, I believe. But, uh... <clears throat> I also wanted to go over some things. As if... Why people keep saying that Mora did not hit... A tree. Um, I'm still trying to detail that rim down there. Because if so... Ah, yes, Mr. Crazy Keith Moon. I gotta still go over that guy. If so... If he does have a Chevy, as you can see... The 112 dirt bag truck... I believe... That rim right there... Is what also this is the page that it came off of I don't know if he's got this old Chevy which I do not think he does and I don't don't know why someone would put this pick in here because as you can see this down the side here let me get out my trusty pen and I know a lot about old vehicles because I'm a very classic car buff but down the side of the truck, if you were to look, the whole fender is dented in like this. It's not dented, I mean, but it's the molding of the truck goes all the way down to the front fender. So keep that in mind. Molding of truck down the whole side to the fender. Now... Come over here, Mr. Keith Moon. Whoop, went too far. Whoop. Right here. There is no molding on the door. Even on the door of that old truck, there's molding like right here. Indented right down the side. So you know right there then that this is a modern truck. So I don't know why they had that other pickup. The only reason why I think they could have the other pickup in there due to the side step. But like I said, as you can clearly see, there's no molding on the side here that would run all the way from the bed to the front. So that right there means that this is a modern pickup. Now, what I am trying to do, like I said, is if you can see on the rim, right here, that this thing goes like that. On the old Chevys, like the one I just showed you with the 112 dirt bag, has similar to this. That's how the, the um, say so you'd call them like a bicycle spokes would go out 
just like this all around the rim. And I'm taking that's what's right here. So, if you do that, this is where I'm going with this. That means that this guy, Mr. Keith Moon, <laughs> as you can see, clear as day. There's the spokes. Right there. See how it comes in, in, over. All around, just like I drew. So I'm taking that this truck is about the same year as this. Maybe a year ahead of Mary, maybe a year behind. I know these trucks. I've owned a lot of these trucks, but I never owned the sidestep. But the cabs are always almost identical. Almost. They got some different things. Don't get me wrong. But that's what I'm going with. And why everybody must be getting confused, right? Of who is really behind the driver's seat. So like I say, well, let's get more of a U. I got to keep going back and forth here. Right? Yeah, because it's more closer up and clearer there. I'm almost certain that that's one of them Chevy trucks. Like you see the bumper down here too. You gotta, I gotta draw out that and get a good. Cause as you can see here, it comes up and over. And. Keep that on there. Come back here. Ah! Dirty bastard. Let me see something. It looks like that one is curved. And this one is straight. I mean, this would be just like that. So whatever curved off. So you so like that for Chevy. I'm going to keep that there a minute. I want to check something here. Let's do an image of... Uh, image of... 1996. Chevy. Let's take a look. Let me see something a moment here. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah, tell me I gotta pause a minute. There you son of a... Whoop. There it is. 96 Chevy. Yeah, there it is. Squared off. Nope, I don't want that. Alright, now I gotta do... Oops. Come on! Now I wanna check this out. Sides. The... Ooh, uh, she may be... So, that's a custom one. Wait a minute. Let me see. Uh -huh. So, as you can clearly see here, that's a custom one. Yeah, the 96 did have them wheels. There's the wheels for 96. Like I said, I mean, that's a straight one, not the side better. Right here. Custom wheels again. But as you can see, yeah, that's straight down. Does that... I gotta check something. Get off. Is that curve? Yeah. 
sides, the pepperoni here. Yeah. Like I said, you see the similarities in these trucks. Highly. I mean, yeah, you can go back to years and stuff. But I mean, just to see these and to see what they look like. Now, I made a mistake. Because the truck I said that was seen was this straight bed. And that one was the one in the picture. That red one that was on the side of the road off to the, um, you know, wrong side of the road. That was wrong. It was a sidestep, but I was looking at this one. But, as you can see, there's, no, them ain't the rims. Them ones got the curves to them. They are different rims. I got a different set of rims. I got a rims like this. But they don't got the curves off in them. They're straight. Uh... But like I said, as you can see, the side step. Mm. Let me check out a. Let's go to 97. Now that's the year that I had, 1997. Side step. Ooh, look what we got here. A nice red one. Hmm. So. Yeah, them are custom rims right there. I don't remember if them are Chevy rims that are custom there. He's that come with this truck. I never seen that style. But it can be it that that what he has too, because you can see there on the rim. But uh, no curved fender. Now, I know there was a freaking Chevy truck with a curved fender, but I can't remember what year it was. Uh, but that, there's a, there's a Z71 side step. Similar to the 112 dirt bag. Gee, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what year he had. I think these are the custom rims for 97 that came that year. So you can freaking have an earlier model. Actually, let me say I had one of these also, too. I had a 93. So let me go back a little further. Side step. 93. Eh. Eh. I think a custom. Hmm. Trying to see here. Where is that rim? <clears throat> the problem with these ones, these trucks have the aftermarket rim. I mean, no, aftermarket is what they put on custom rims or what people put on, you know, by themselves. But yeah, that would look like the 112 dirt bags truck right there, but because of that black ridge. His was thick like this. And right here, this thing right here. Hey. 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 Yeah, this thing. But, to go back, see the corner there? I want to see the bumper. Yeah, that one's still straight. But, like I say, it, even Tim Carpenter, I don't know what he had. Maybe I just want to see these bumpers. Because these bumpers are the big key of what we're looking for right now. Like, bent. That one's straight, too. Yeah. Actually, let's try this. Like I said, I'm trying to find Tim Carpenter's slightly bent bumper. I know the 112 Dirtbag, man. He has a bunch of stuff up here. 94 side step mm. this one nah that don't look like it yeah let me see oh that 
definitely ain't it. Either the 93, maybe, actually, I didn't even think of the 95s. Well, the 93. I know it's not the 92. So we're in between the 93 and the 95 model might be. I know the 93 has to be the 112 dirtbag style. Let's see here. Yeah, ooh, nice. Here's one. 95. Yep, they have the black dark ridge. Eh. It's hard to say, though. Like I say, trying to figure out that bumper. I mean, this could be the uh, carpenter truck. Because of the tone of color of the red. So let me screenshot this right there. I want to get this. Get out of the way. Screenshot. I want to match up like the, uh, let me show you. What I'm starting to see off of Carpenters in this truck is, uh, this ridge right here. That kind of looks like Carpenter's Ridge. And yeah, I, I want to say it still looks straight, but the bumper could curve a little. But that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take this screenshot of mine, back it up, and match it up. Now here, I want to check out this one first. Yeah, that's got to be the 93 model. These are the stock rims. I mean, these is, this is what Chevy takes off their line and gives you. Them are stock rims, but I don't see that deep ridge in the 112 dirt bag. But this one, actually, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I can't fucking. And then, the, then you got the chrome. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, some of these trucks had that too, as you can see the chrome right here, hey, god damn, oh there it is, never mind, chrome, right along there, the chrome, a lot of them came with that too, and a lot of them didn't, so, we'll take this and come over here, Oh, yeah, he had the chrome there. They just had the chrome. Anyways, I wanted to go over some other stuff. <clears throat> um, in another video. Probably ain't gonna have time, but... In this one... But how do you keep someone in suspense? I'll tell you in the next one. <laughs> but like I say, yes, there's the chrome. You know, that little black piece the ridge and it's just it sucks how close this guy is and couldn't get a better view but looking at the tires there like I said them rims I saw off the other truck I want to say this could be a 93 or a 95 just because of that right there but a lot of the trucks we've just seen don't have the customized I mean, the um, stock rims that come off the factory line, they're all custom rims. But these, I believe, are factory rims just because of that piece right there, like I show you. So to find that, either, this is either a 95 Chevy, might be even a Ford. I think maybe Ford came off with the bumper like that, maybe. But... <clears throat> It is friggin' hard to tell. So, let me go do this. I'm gonna check this one time, and then we're out of here. Because I'm sure you want to know what I'm gonna say in the next video.
all the cars stuff. Let's check out the side step. Oh, well, yeah. There it is. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see if I can get a better side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 95, 4. There it is, people. Maybe, maybe, maybe it could be a Ford he's driving. Because there's the ridge. I mean, there's the bumper, as you can see. Come on. The bumper slants. Right there. So this is a 95 Ford. Um, 95. I'm about to want to speak over the 2000 Ford side step and see what that looks like. Just want to get a damn visual. Nah, that thing, it. Because, uh, yeah, the one we were just looking at was more squared off. And the 2004s are not squared off. Yeah, they got more aerodynamic design to that. So it was definitely a back in the 1990 pickup. 1990. Let's try six. So we did 95, we'll check out the 1996. Oh, I want a side view, jerk. Here's the 95, but I need a side step. Guess they didn't have a 96. Here's a side step. Oh, yeah, well, that got a deeper ridge inside of that, too. So once, yeah, well, no, oh, no, actually, no, it would not be a Ford. I mean, yes, it's got the deep ridge. It's got a slight slant in the bumper. But what this truck is lacking, and I don't know if it came with that, that side ridge right here. So most likely could be a Chevy. Aha, uh -huh. it's not a Ford. There's even this one, the 95. Don't have any of that. Here's a sidestep 95. And the difference between the Ford and the Chevy is. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep, that side ridge right there that the Chevy does have. So, we have a Chevy here. Definite Chevy truck. But, what would this man want to do with Mora? is the question yes they were into heavy drugs I guess she had to go to rehab here he looks like Cheech Marion I mean not Cheech Tommy Chong <laughs> I hate to insult the poor guy Mr. Tommy Chong but that's the question Mr. Tim Carpenter Chevy truck. What were you doing there if you were there, Mr. Tim? Why would you take your sister-in-law and make her disappear? Hmm. Tell you a lot of loose ends. A lot of things that drive you crazy and make you want to know. Makes everybody just right want to jump up and say, Hey, you want to go out there? What do you remember? Still, you can't overlook the 112 dirt bag either. 
whether he's mocking or he's just the one that was just driving on by. Because this truck is a lighter red than the other one, so it means it's a different year. But that piece of that ridge is missing too. As you can see on the uh, Tim Carpenter truck. Come on. The ridge right here is missing off of his, so. But all in all, kitties. You find that red truck, you will find the murderer. And, uh, yeah. She says, who is it? Who is it? That red truck is the main key in this story. The main key. And there's only, right, Three individuals, well, the third individual is a group of brothers, but who had that truck in that, that time, in that night? I swear one day I'm going to take my ass out to Haley Mass, see what I can find. But then again, where the hell's Tim Carpenter been? If he didn't have nothing to do with it, where the hell is he? Is he still around? Has he departed too? Where's well, the question? When will it be answered? God damn it. Till that next video, be safe, take care. Beware. You don't know who is out there.